COP28 Dubai Live, 1.5 Media Innovators Magazine, Allied for Future, with Her Royal Highness Princess Absa Dijmar. Good friend of mine, long-term good friend of mine, not only from the COPs, from, from many meetings, I think COP23 Fiji Bonn, yeah. we had fabulous time, so glad to have you here. Can you please introduce uh, yourself a little bit about your foundation? What are you doing here at the COP? I know why you're here, but others don't. So thank you, Mark. It's really a pleasure being here. And thank you for your leadership and uh, posting uh, live here in Dubai. Uh, I'm Her Royal Highness Princess Abzi Jigma, coming from Burkina Faso. Uh, I'm an engineer on um, education for sustainable de development and also a party member from my delegation Burkina Faso and I used to be the deputy head of delegation for several cups and the lead negotiators as well on the just transition pathways which is uh, one of the new pieces of the cup which is critical to support our people, our communities, our business, uh, our women, no matter your gender, we need to support you to transition and, and, and living in a healthy planet. I'm so glad that we found this time. Uh, you can see the beautiful hustle and bustle of the COP. It's coming to the end of the COP and there's livelihood. We have protesters here, people who are activists. So there's a lot of noise and hustle and bustle. I'm glad I could pull you out of your negotiations. Absa, is a, 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 Her Royal Highness, is a negotiator. She's here at all the COPs negotiating, moderating. You're, you're a busy person, so we don't have this time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm honored to have you here. We're asking two questions at the COP, and you've heard of the glass half full, and you've heard of the glass half empty. Yes. The glass half full is this optimistic perspective, the positive perspective. Yes. No matter all the controversy of the COP, I would like to hear your COP half full. What's your optimistic perspective, Absa? Yeah, thank you. I think that's thank you for that question. Uh, seeing the help the glass half full and half empty. I think when all of us come here, it means that we already have a hope. We're having a step to move forward. Don't, for me, it's always a half glass full. Um, we see a good signal on the opening already with the loss and damages are found, where right now I think as we pass the half billion in the, in the basket, this is a signal inviting the governments to, to come in and start uh, doing what needs to be done and to, uh, to mobilize more funds. We need trillions actually to transition. It's not about billions, it's about trillions. So and, uh, we need blended finance. Those are the things that we've been talking about. Inside events, we even you have ministers from my countries, from uh, uh, Asia, from the US as well, who's, uh, who's along. This, this is the, the other side, as I think you have uh, people who keep thinking business as usual, not stepping out of the box. I think we are invited, we understand. It's, it, we are human, we like to stay in our comfort zone. Nothing appointing here, but it's, uh, it's an invite to, uh, to our colleagues who are negotiating with us. And they, they're hearing very good. And the pathways that I'm, uh, uh, I'm leading negotiation on, just transition pathways, I think the negotiation went into the into the smooth way, and we we're making a step one to each other. We're listening to each other. That that is the good thing. And of course, when you negotiate, it's a negotiator. You can't get all the things that you you need. The, your shopping list. You can't get everything from your shopping list. That is the the, the But you you make sure that at least what's really matters for you, for you and for me. I make a step. You make a step, and we meet in the middle. So has a starting point, but maybe, and having in mind a long-term view, we always need to have that in uh, in our minds when we negotiate. That is, uh, uh, we we are here representing billions of people. It's not about us, about our daily work, but we're here for humanity. That's what we, for my side, when I negotiate, that's what I have in mind. So, and I hope my other colleagues also have that in mind when they negotiate. Thank you so much. I mean, that is such a beautiful perspective and gives us this deep dive into the back end of the negotiations and all the other work you do. And that's only just one little <laughs> facet of the many things that you do. 
There are so many things. I, I could actually stand here and ask you a million <laughs> questions. We don't have the time. You're very busy. The next question is probably the hardest question I'm going to ask you, but you've answered it before. We've had it many times before. Um, it's one that we've been asking for over 70 years at international organizations. Mm -hmm. That We're at the Expo City, the World's Fair in, in Dubai. 1967, Montreal, Canada, we asked this question and we played a game called the World Game. Yeah. The question is, what does a world that works for everyone look like for you? As a negotiator, I'm sure that's in the back of your mind. How do you create a better world? How do you negotiate the things? But I want to know specifically for you, what does a world that works for absolutely everyone look like for you? I think that is a very critical question and it's a good question. So I think that is when you have decolonized minds, that is the key thing. Because if you look in the eyes of the other one and see him as equal like you, has the same human kind like you, then we can think on having that better world, an equal world for everyone. I think if you start, uh, uh, for instance, not that I'm criticizing to have the major parties of uh, uh, indigenous people, uh, women, youth, we are all indigenous women, they are women. It's not because you're from the global south or the global north that you're not a woman. We are giving baby deliveries from the same. We get from pregnant in the same way. I think that we need also to don't a market. It's, marketing is good to get to your point, but we need also to watch out. But by the fact, it's good to make noise to get your voice on the table. But at some point, we need to be careful on the falling in that trap that you're being targeted and put in a certain basket, and you even can't get out of it. For me, for instance, a lot of uh, uh, organization has me, can you come and be a, a, a woman activist? I say, you know, I have fantastic men that I like, who like me. They are, I, when I look at Mark, I see my brother, I see my father, I see my grandson. With respect. And he respect me in return that he see his mother, his grandmother, his sister, and his granddaughter. When we look in that way, with that perspective, then we are equal. And then you have the real gender balance. Not that, I, and when you respect the other gender, there is no issue. It's about content, it's about expertise, it's about knowledge, knowing your job and do it right. It's not about your color, it's not about your gender, it's about respect and values. That is the, the world that I see uh, in the future. We are futurists, both of us, you know, we're living in year 3000. That's how we see. And we are happy people in our lives because whoever I see, it's my brother, it's my sister, and it's all fine. And if you think like that, you have a happy life. Thank you so much for letting us inside of your ideas. It's always a sheer pleasure. The sure. only thing, is there a message that you would like to give everyone else? Just if, if do you have some special message that you would yeah. like to, to present to yeah, everyone? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much for giving me uh, this opportunity. And once again, thank you for your leadership. I'm convening uh, the African Royal Houses for SDGs, where we are coming together to have traditional leaders to help the will. We are not people who are complaining. We rule societies for thousands of years. My own grand-grandmother, Princess Yeninga, ruled Burkina Faso in the 12th century, and we're continuing. You know, sometimes we are just put at the end of the design of the policy making, but, not, but we are at the core, actually, because the communities, they come to us, they understand their, their uh, the, the, the rulings, the traditional rulings, and it's a way also to uh, to work together. And you more, we're more than happy to have you on board, uh, I'm <laughs> Mark. On board. You, you know, to, you're that. more than so happy to lovely. have you and to have your friends uh, with us to support us. They they were more than welcome because we talk about transitioning. Transition, just transition is when we have everybody on board. 
Thank you so much for having me, uh, Mark, uh, on this, uh, and welcome to Dubai, to all of us. And uh, thank you for your love as well. You know, I'm somebody who's believing in the power of love. You know, whatever we do, if we put love in the center, it goes. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. 1.5 Media, Innovators Magazine, and Allied for Future. Thank you.